Welcome back. Big news. Big news. OBS 28. It's in beta. It's not actually here, but it's still big news and it's it's in beta. You can actually download it right now. Now, it's always nice when OBS comes in with a very big update and usually goes from like the 27 to the 28 or a 26, whatever it is. This is a, a big update, but it's I don't know. So I think some people are kind of blowing it up a little bit more than it needs to be. It's big, a lot of improvements, a lot of tweaks, a lot of things that'll help you out. So you don't kind of download plugins and whatnot. It's it's nice. It's streamlined. They they fix a lot of stuff. Oh, did you um? I got a new mic. Sure, MV7X. I'm into it. Uh, but there's no more buzz. So yes. Okay. Now before we get into this video, this video is sponsored by Own.TV. Own.TV has everything you need from overlays to alerts to panels and much more for streamers. Not only do you have access to tons of varieties of different types of overlays and whatnot, but you also have access to making your own custom emotes, badges, avatars, gaming logos, and even animated emotes at your disposal. Own.TV is your one-stop shop to get everything you need to get your streams up and running and ahead of the curve. Don't forget to check out their latest animated emote maker so you can take your emotes and add animations to them. Super simple. Now, if you want to take it to the next level, go ahead and check out owned.pro and go check out their brand new tools. They even added a brand new goal bar to add community goals to your entire stream from subs to followers to bits and more. Now, if that wasn't enough, go check out own.academy and go get free tutorials on how to set up everything. So make sure to go check out own.tv today and use code activator to get yourself a discount. So OBS 28, new features, new things here and there, optimizations, streamlined, all that good stuff. Let's just jump right in. I don't want to waste your time. Let's get into it. This is OBS open up right here. Very simple, nice, clean. It looks basically the same. The text looks a little bit bigger, but you know, if you didn't enjoy that, you can go back over here to the settings and you can just swap it back to the old theme. So I think right now I'm using the dark theme. So I go ahead and uh, select that, hit OK, and we uh, we should be good. So you can see they look very similar, but there's little features here and there that have been added in. Just for this video's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this back on the uh, the yam yami yami theme. So it, now you, now you can easily tell which one's which. All right, let's just get right on into the new features. That's why you guys are here. Let's keep it simple. HDR. I don't use HDR. I mean, I have a PlayStation 5. I have some stuff. I have an HDR capture card. I don't use it. It's cool. HDR is neat. It's got some better looking colors. You know, I don't know. You can get into HDR all you want, but hey, now it's going to be a, uh, it's going to be an OBS for you to go ahead and encode and record your videos as well as you can stream, but only to YouTube. So if you're trying to do it to Twitch, no YouTube. Yeah. Twitch. No. Now, on top of this, if you guys are AMD graphics card holders, they optimize that. So now you can get, you know, better optimized encoding for your streams and your recordings. So if you have an AMD GPU, then I don't know, maybe that's better now. Great job. Now, there's this new thing for recording your videos. You can split files based on like time or size. I guess this was like a sought after thing. I don't I don't know. I've never heard anybody ask me for this. Uh, but if it's a thing, great. I'm so happy that you have it now. I don't know why I would ever need it. I just take my my chunk of video. I put it into my editing program, DaVinci Resolve, and I just I just go. I don't I don't know why I would need individual file sizes. If you have an idea of why people want this, I put that down below. I don't I don't know. Comment. I don't understand. Why do you want different file sizes? What does that what does that do for you? One thing that I actually think is really cool, and I use this for like Steam and other video games and whatnot, they have a file like integrity check for OBS. Let's say you open up OBS and you're trying to figure out, is this thing working? Why isn't it working? Why does it keep crashing? Why does it keep doing this, 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 this? They have like a button now that you can just go ahead and click on and like check file integrity of OBS. Check this out. You go over here to the uh, the help menu on the top right, click on that, and you come down here to check file integrity. You click on that and it's going to say, hey, starting to check uh, and scan your OBS installation for corruption and re-download broken modified files. This may take a moment. Do you want to proceed? So I could hit yes. And uh, now it's going to go ahead and try to update and try to find all the things that are potentially wrong with it. So th there you go, you know, so I'm going to go ahead and exit that because I'm yeah, I don't need to. I, I just downloaded it. Now, here are two. I'm talking two big, big quality of life improvements to this program. One direct audio capture from your sources. I'm talking, you go ahead and add in your, your game capture, your Spotify, your this, your that. It, you can get all your custom audios in there without needing any plugins or anything like that. 
I just learned that a plugin helped me get individual programs to send audio directly into my OBS. And now I don't need that. It's already built in. That's huge. So if you guys needed other audio sources to come in and you're trying to like send them out in different areas and whatnot, based on, you know, if you're streaming on Twitch and you're trying to like not have your music play out. So you'd have to get like a, a different plugin to take your audio and then, and then send it just to OBS. And then you put it out to Twitch, but not, or not to the VOD. Like that's all built in now. So way easier. If you guys want a video on that, I'll, I'll make one. Just, just comment, make that audio thing. Help me out. But I'm you, I'm, I'm saying that help me out, but I'm you. I'm saying it, but I'm saying that you, you're saying it, but I'm saying it for you. Help me out, but it's you. One other big thing, hold on. Webcams. I used to use a webcam all the time. C930E, classic webcam right here. C920, C930. What's the biggest problem, streamers, with this? Well, it's that every time you open up OBS, it defaults out your settings every time. The brightness, your exposure, all that stuff. Like, I hated doing it. I had to do it every time back in the day when I first started streaming. Yeah, I, I used to use, I know, I, I use this camera now, but I used to use this little guy, right? But I, I hated it because every time I started up, I had to like dial in the settings, get it perfect every time because I hated auto white balance. I hated auto exposure, all that stuff. So now when you go into your webcam settings, you can set the settings. It's gonna save it. It's gonna save it. It's like a real camera. You just gotta open up OBS. Boom, set it, you're done. For me, those are the big new features coming in for OBS 28. Now, some quality of life improvements. Let's go ahead and jump back into OBS. Let me show you some of these things. So one kind of cool thing that actually Exceldro, our man Exceldro, dude who makes uh, cool plugins and everything. Exceldro, he's a good guy, that guy. Uh, Exceldro, go check him out. He's, uh, he's on the OBS forums. Nice work. But over here, he actually helped create something. Multiview. Multiview is a really cool thing. If you have lots of scenes and, and whatnot inside of your OBS, you can come over here to uh, multi-view. Basically, you have this window right here that has your preview, your program, and, all, and a bunch of scenes down here up to, I think, like 24 if you got them. To go ahead and see and preview just to see how they're working in the background. Now, one kind of annoying thing for some people is they have this big preview and big program. You don't need it. Like, you want to just be able to click on your different scenes, and that's it. You don't need this stuff. So, actually, if you go into settings, general... You scroll down to multi-view, here's something new that Exceldro came in with, and it's called Scenes Only. So if I click on Scenes Only 16, hit OK. Now if I go over here to View, oh, the windowed multi-view here, now it's just my scenes. So if I had 16 scenes here, I can literally just select each one, look at them, just see how they're doing, and, and I could make it so I double click and switch scenes here, but I don't need to do that. But it's just nice that I can go ahead and just, you know, have this off on another window or something like that and see everything all at once. My cam full screen. Maybe I want to check my lighting while I'm playing a game. Maybe I want to do something else. I don't know. But it's nice to be able to have all your scenes in one giant preview window. Now, here's another cool thing. Check this out. So here's my uh, my capture card right here that you're seeing. It says no signal. If I go ahead and unclick that and I go ahead and right click here, let's go ahead and go to preview scaling. Let's go to canvas. And then I just hold space and I can actually just use my mouse wheel to go in and out here with zooming. You see a brand new thing. You see it? I see it. Look right here. Look at this. Look. Okay, right? Pretty cool, man. You to do that, you needed plugins. You needed so many things. Like you could sit there and do it with the transfer settings. That's a pain. I don't want to do it. Not only that, but now check this out. So if I go ahead and start to slide this down, you get to see how many pixels I'm going down by. You get to see how many pixels I'm moving it right and left by, up and down. How cool is that? That's great. That's a huge feature. Now, this is the one thing I actually liked about Streamlabs OBS is that they had this stuff. I'm nitpicky, you know? When I wanna fine tune something, I'll use the arrow keys and try to get it perfect, but I don't know exactly where it is. But now, I know because I can just use the arrow keys and I can see these numbers here to just tell me exactly what's going on. Now, on top of that, if I bring this back over here and I hold Alt, I can now drag this in and it's still showing a dotted line for where my crop section is, as well as how far in I'm going on the crop. Yes, right? It's such a simple thing, but for those of you guys that are really like nitpicky about pixel perfection, this might be for you. A couple other cool things coming in is actually some quality of life stuff with copy and paste. And I'm talking about copying and pasting transformation stuff. So if I came over here, unlock this, shrink it down. I like this. I like where it is. I like what it's doing. Now I can actually come over here to my transform settings, right click, go to transform and click copy transform. So now we go to our other caps card, right click, go to transform and then 
paste transform and now it's perfectly in line with the other capture card so again i unlock this one it's in the exact same spot that's great super helpful one last thing here if you go ahead and uh allow yourself to move around your item normally you can use your arrow keys to go ahead and pixel peek and put your object right in the perfect spot but now if you hold shift and do the same thing now it does a bigger jump at 10 pixels rather than just the one. So now I'm moving by 10. So if you needed to move a little bit faster than your simple arrow keys, I'll demonstrate using down. You can see how slow this is going. And now if I hold shift, it's gonna be much faster. Really nice quality of life improvements coming in from OBS 28. Appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope this uh, maybe gave you some ideas or something about the new features coming in. So good luck. Hope your uh, streams and recordings uh, take off. All right, enjoy HDR and all that fun stuff. I'm sure they'll improve stuff and tweak stuff here and there. They may, there may be some bugs. Now, one possible issue is, I guess some of your plugins aren't gonna work anymore. So just keep that in mind that until plugins update themselves and yada, 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 some stuff might not work. I would test this out and just make sure to maybe back up your saves and all that kind of stuff of your OBS settings before you try this out, just in case, so you can make sure all the plugins you already have installed are gonna work. Now. I'm sure things will update as time goes on, but because this is in beta, just keep in mind your plugins that may you may have installed already might not work anymore. So disclaimer, they might not work anymore. Anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Uh, like and sub to the channel. It helped me out. Catch you on the next video. Thanks for hanging out. Till next time, take care.